Okay guys, so continue pa rin tayo dito sa hydraulic conductivity. So this time is paano naman pag stratified yung sun. So pag sinabi natin stratified, uh, iba-iba yung uh, may layer siya, no? iba-iba yung layer. So pag iba-iba yung layer, iba-iba din yung uh, hydraulic conductivity niya, yung K. So pag ganyan, so layer by layer nag-iiba yung hydraulic conductivity. So nagiging komplikado pag uh, ano natin yan, no? Uh, paano pag sobrang dami na nung ano, uh, layers no? kaya yung ginagawa is kinukuha natin yung equivalent hydraulic conductivity no? to simplify yung calculation okay? So, the only purpose for this is to simplify yung calculations. So, ganun na. So, ito yung direction ng flow natin. Okay, this is the direction of the direction of yung flow ng water. Yan yung direction natin. Okay. So, meron yung horizontal and vertical na movement din. No? So, ito yung KH1 and ito yung KV1 ganun dito, no? KV2 KH2 sa so, layer 3 din, ganun din KH3 KV3 So, yung ginagawa yung mga component na to iisa na lang yan, no? Iisa. So, yun yung kukunin mo yung Uh, equivalent nila no? in terms of horizontal and in terms of vertical so merong formula madali lang din tandaan pag horizontal so yung formula pahiga no? pag vertical yung formula parang nakatayo din no? so ganun lang no? so pag horizontal yung formula nakahiga pag vertical yung formula nakatayo no? so H at saka K no? diba sa alphabet mas nauna yung H kaysa sa K so ganun din no H and K. So anyway, solve tayo ng problem para makita niyo yung application niya. For example, dito is uh, ano daw yung equivalent coefficient ng permeability uh, for flow in horizontal direction and for vertical direction. So given yung mga thickness ng every layer natin, for layer 1 that is 20 feet, yung hydraulic conductivity niya that is 10 to the negative 1 millimeter per second. And for layer 2, we have 5 feet yung thickness niya. Then, yung hydraulic conductivity niya is 10 to the negative 4 millimeter per second. And then, yung thickness nung layer 3, that is 10 feet. Then, yung hydraulic conductivity niya is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 1 millimeter per second. So, a total nung lahat ng layer na ito is 35 feet. Okay? So, in terms of horizontal direction... In terms of horizontal direction, yung formula lang din, naka higa. No? No? Pahigda siya, diba? So, we have KH equivalent. So, naka horizontal din yung formula. So, we will use this one. So, the value of uh, capital H D, though, that is the total height ng soil layer. Okay? Then, this is the individual height ng every layer. And this is the individual hydraulic conductivity ng every layer. Yan na, no? So, we have, sunset lang natin yung mga values. So, therefore, we have mm -hmm, 35 feet. Okay? Then, ito yung tinatanong, KH equivalent. Okay? And that is just equal to 20 feet times 10 to the negative 1 millimeter per second yung single lang millimeter per second next plus for second layer we have 5 feet so therefore that is uh, 10 to the negative 4 millimeter per second plus meron tayong 10 so 10 feet times 
1.5 times 10 to the negative 1 millimeter per second. Okay? So, therefore, masolve na natin yung KH equivalent niya. So, may kita mo na magka-crush out lang yung mga units, no? So, ito, crush out, crush out, crush out, crush out. No? So, yung matitira is millimeter per second. So, ibig sabihin, yung value nito automatic millimeter per second. So, may kita mo nga parang nininiglik na lang yung, uh, yung, mga, yung mga units, no? Basta, make sure lang na yung units nung hydraulic conductivity must be in uniform, millimeter, millimeter per second millimeter per second then yung unit ng mga height is make sure in uniform din no? kung nakafit yung isa dapat lahat yan nakafit so sa so hydraulic conductivity pag naka millimeter per second yung isa dapat silang lahat millimeter per second pag may isang hindi i-convert mo yan ganun okay so yung KH equivalent niya is just equal to 0.10 so this is equal to 0.10 millimeter per Second. So, box na natin to kasi ito na yung sagot. Okay. Okay. So, next is B. Okay. So, ano naman pag vertical direction? So, copy ko lang yung problem. Mm -hmm. Oops. Sorry for that. Copy ko lang muna yung problem guys Copy Paste Charan Yan So we have here This So next natin kukunin is yung Vertical direction Okay, so vertical direction na tayo, ha? So, this is the vertical uh, direction. Mm -hmm. So, yung formula lang din, pag vertical, yung formula parang nakatayo lang. So, H over K. So, this is vertical equivalent. Times summation ng HI KI. Ayan. So, yung H is we have 35. Okay. So, this is 35. Ito yung tinatanang. And then, for first layer, 20 feet all over 10 to the negative 1. For second layer, we have 5 feet all over 10 to the negative 4. And for the third layer, we have 10 feet all over 1.5 times 10 to the negative 1. So, we solve this in our calculator and we get the value of as 0 0.000696. But double check na lang nito guys ha, sa calculator niya. Millimeter per second. And box na natin yan kasi yan na yung sagot. So, ganyan lang kadali pag kukunin natin yung mga uh, equivalent hydraulic conductivity in stratified soil. Okay? So, I hope uh, klaro yan. So, continue na lang tayo sa next na video. Thank you.